Hey, welcome to Family Chats with Pastor Dean Ross of Family Church NOLA, where we love God passionately and we love people personally. First Family Chats video, I have a special guest and she's the prettiest person that has ever appeared on this video log. None other than Laura Ross. Uh, she's gonna read for us in a moment. Today's chat is entitled, A Prayer of Thanksgiving. And uh, I wanted simple, I wanted my wife, uh, we're, I'm thankful. Uh, we've gone through a lot this year. God's gotten us through, right? Right, right, yep. He's blessed our church, our family. That doesn't, blessing doesn't always mean that things are easy, but we still look to God, even in the valleys, knowing that it takes work to climb up the mountain and he's the only way there. Um, but uh, as we reflect back on on this year and this season, uh, it's it's a great time to be thankful. And one of my favorite books in the Bible is the book of Ephesians. And in the book of Ephesians, it's really an awesome, uh, it's really a, it's the really the book you should go to uh, first after the gospels, really to tell you about who is God and who are we. And the first three chapters are all about who is God and what has he done for us. And the last three are all about who are we. And so Paul opens this letter to the church at Ephesus with with really a, a blessing and a prayer of thanksgiving. And so in the spirit of this season of thanksgiving, uh, I'm simply, I just want to read God's word to you. And I, I say, I read God's word to you. My wife is going to read Ephesians chapter one to us, and then we're going to pray for you. So she's going to, she's going to pick up in verse three, uh, right after Paul introduces himself as the writer of the letter. And so here she goes. Blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace which he has lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In him we have attained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be to the might be to the praise of his glory in him you also when you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and believed in him were sealed with the promised holy spirit who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory for this reason because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his great might that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Amen. We have so much to be thankful for. Thankful for a God who saves us, who keeps us, who's filled us and has given us the church as his family to be on mission together, to read our Bibles every day to pray and share our faith. I'm gonna pray for you real quick. And then my wife and I, we're going out uh, to celebrate my birthday together. So we're gonna do that real quick. 
uh, let me let us pray. Lord, we thank you so much for those who are listening. Um, Lord, we thank you that for those who have followed you, uh, that you have saved them and that you've sealed them with your promise, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you that you, you filled us and you use us for your glory and your might. Lord, for those who are listening who don't know you, Lord, I pray that they would recognize that you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by you. Lord, I pray as Romans, as Paul wrote in Romans uh, 10, 13, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, the greatest thanksgiving we can give this season is to be thankful for you who, lay, who love the world so much that you gave your only son that would ever believe in you wouldn't have to perish, but would have everlasting life. So I pray that everyone today, Lord, listening, would accept that gift. It's in your name that we pray and believe. Amen. If you would like to get connected to a church family, or if you need prayer, if you'd like to talk more about Jesus, go online to jointhefamily.church. I'll see you next time.